It's story time. Story time. Story time. We had a long day at work. This story is um, geopolymer concrete. Right. Geopolymer. When we first started, um, when was this, 2008? Yeah. Nine. 2009 time frame, we were taking every freaking job we could find. Yes. Every job. Like, somebody said, hey, could you do this? Yeah, of course. Totally could do it. <laughs> like, without even thinking. And, and we're like, st- we would not have the equipment. We would have zero experience. And he was like, oh, yeah, we did that totally. yesterday. It's no oh, problem. Oh, yeah, we're experts in this. <laughs> so we're living at mom and dad's. We're, we had date night every week, and it was like $3.50. No, we had, we had $10 date night. $10 budget. date and night? And we would we'd either get, like, hot chocolate and donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. Or go to Godiva. The Bavarian cream, dude. Oh, so good. Or go or, to Godiva. And we'd each pick two truffles. Yep. And then we would sit down and play Scrabble at Scrabble. the because we had no money. No money. And we would people watch. It was fun, though. So. Those were fun. Memories. We're on our third batch of eggs for the day because we're saving money. <laughs> Lots of eggs. And um, got a phone call. At night. 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock at night. Got a phone call from our Army Corps buddies. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, have you guys ever worked geopolymer concretes? No. The answer was unequivocal. And well, he said, heck and, yes. And I was like, yeah, of course we have. Totally. Totally work geopolymer concretes. Um, they're like, well, what is it? It needs to get 5,000 PSI in two weeks. Yep. It can have no cement. has to take 10% on-site soil. Um, has to look like concrete, act like concrete. I already said no No water glasses. Like, no water glasses. Nothing caustic. It's nothing nasty. It's water glass, right? Yeah, so it can have okay. minimal. Minimal right. amount. I thought that um, was none. Gosh, so many people are testing. Right. So, um, you know, the question was, can you do it? And I was on the phone, and Whitney's cooking eggs, and I said, totally. We can have – oh, and you need it done within, two like, two months. And, like, so can you do it? And I was like, yes. yes. Got off the phone. Whitney looked at me, yes. and she said, what did you what just do? What the crap did you just do? I totally did. But we we ended up getting the, the the materials two weeks later. We started kicking right. the tires and lighting the fires in the first mix. Got it on the first freaking mix. And he lost the mix design. I threw which away he the does. mix design. Never do that. Like I don't think you have lost one since. I and never lost one before. Lost the mix design. Lost the mix design. Sixty two mixes later, we still do not have it. Sixty two mixes later and we were doing mixes in dad's office oh my gosh curing samples on mom's dining room table yeah, or the is, the we dryer with this folks and we had turned his god bless them we had turned their garage into a concrete lab yes we we even had wicking samples oh in the basement underneath the stairs oh so, it was terrible yeah. it was terrible so anyway I think we just tossed the last set on our last so visit there so we had we had 62 mixes, 62. 62 mixes in, and we weren't there. We weren't meeting strength. Some of the samples weren't setting up for 48 yeah. hours. So, um, gosh, it was and John like... Was, John was trying, like, these little teeny tiny... We were using changes. a Dolaire experimentation model. It has very specific parameter changes. Which is great Two or three dimensional. A year and a half to do it. And the pro- here's the problem with the Dolaire experimentation model. You can't see what... There's different interactions that happen when you put more things Whitney into the Whitney likes the kitchen sink. I like she the kitchen just likes sink. throwing all that shit in there at once. Excuse my language. I do. So, you just never know what's going to... I mean, it no, is going to tank no, or it is going to be yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, and I am a believer in the amazing kitchen sink. Three weeks sink. away optimistic. from the deadline. Right. And we still didn't have an answer. Right. Still did not have an effing answer. So it's 11.30 at night and I'm tired. I'm cranky. And Whitney so says, cranky. you know, baby... You're doing two, like, two little changes, and you're doing too slowly. You just have to throw the kitchen sink in yep. it. Throw all your ideas in one mix. And, you know, me being the understanding husband and the great bar- business partner, yep. I was like, oh, that's a brilliant idea, and I respect you. Yeah. I respect with you. What did I say? You came on glue. I he came was on like, glue. if you are so freaking smart, Get you the go F and lab. to it yourself. And those are... Those were the PG ex- words. He said R rated uh, words. I was not nice. So what did Whitney do? My wonderful 
My wonderful, beautiful wife. I went out and did it, and it freaking killed it. Two weeks later, we're sending the whoever we were working with. We'll have to edit that out later. The end mix design, and it was... It was my mix design. It was Whitney's mix. I know a thing or two. 5,160 PSI, 28 days, had a 5-inch slump. Mm -hmm. Used, I think, 10 or 15% on-site soil. And no Portland cement. That's great. Dude, you are so awesome. I know. Thank you. No, just kidding. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Story time's over. Get back to work. Have a good night. Go concrete. Beat asphalt. Duh.